Okay, so I got an email last week from a guy, uh, similar to a lot of emails that I get, uh, where he was basically saying, let's see, uh, Dear Sanjay, first of all, I want you to know, like your videos, like the IT guy stuff, and uh, you know, thanks for talking about how engineers can be creative, yada yada, thank you very much, I appreciate that, and ah, here we go, okay. Um, I am right now uh, facing my mid-twenties crisis where I am unable to decide my career. You know, like many students in India and engineers in India, I want to do a master's abroad in the US or Canada, uh, maybe settle there and continue my IT career there. Uh, I'm very good at programming, um, not good in the sense like I'm an expert, but if you give me a task, I can generally figure it out um, with the right help. Um, I don't see myself coding, debugging for my whole life. Ideally, technology and business are two of the domains that I think I could do. You know, like work with the programmers and be in like a senior management sort of role in between technology and marketing business. The guys who don't do the tech stuff, but say they have a sweet taste of technology and can manage people, like give feedback and stuff. I'm not really sure where to go, if I should study abroad again, if I should do something else, uh, any advice. Okay, dude, dude, hello. You bro, you, you sound like literally 95% of TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Unisys, Accenture, IBM, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, and literally every other company that has a tech department, including myself. You sound exactly like me uh, when I was younger and even when I got older and there was nobody really there to tell me sort of the stuff uh, that I'm about to tell you. Um, so here we go. So number one, uh, guess what? Uh, all of us have hated uh, what we had to do. And I mean nobody, nobody wakes up early in the morning thinking like, mm. I want to talk about binary search trees or Python or Swift or big data or analytics or write bugs in Quality Center. But that's the same for any other career. A guy designing bridges doesn't think about mm, centrical force and that excites me so much or you know Elon Musk doesn't think fluid mechanics or dynamic fluid mechanics or whatever. No, they learn this stuff because the engineer knows about centrical force so he can build the bridge and you know Elon Musk learns about all that stuff so he can build a rocket or the electric car or God knows what else. The problem with so many engineers and young people and even older people especially in the South Asian community is all you really see is what people are doing but you rarely see what people have done. We've all had days, even months, even years, you know, bragging to our friends, hey bro, I got paid uh, two months, uh, two months salary and all I was doing was on Facebook. I've been doing work in like three months, best job ever. And you know, while that sounds cool, like oh my god, you're so lucky dude, that's actually pathetic. All right, look, I spent six months doing that at one of my projects and I'm here to tell you like, dude, today you are the youngest you will ever be today, right? Okay, you've got the most energy, you've got the most health, you've got the most hair, you've got the most ambition and determination that you can do anything. You have the most brain cells, you can learn anything, all right? But you sit on Facebook, you sit on YouTube, you sit on Xbox, ah, Xbox, Snapchat, Tinder, Instagram, whatever it is. For anyone under 30 or even above 30, listen to me and listen to me close. Remember when you had to learn you know, 600 chords for the piano or 800 chords for the guitar and you're like, this is not fun. I want to play Slash or Guns N' Roses. So just because you had that really hard, boring stuff in the beginning, you just quit the thing. And now you sit at some extreme sports bar or some brewery and you see some asshole like playing guitar and you're like, Psh, I could have done that, you know, but he's getting all the chicks that did all that boring crap, right? That's exactly how you're gonna feel 10 years from now, you know, about the stuff you're learning right now. You're gonna take for granted, you know, all the boring testing work you had to do or all the boring developer work you had to do, but all of that is gonna come back and define the impressive things you do in the future, whether it's in your company or not, all right? Work in the beginning is supposed to be boring. None of what we really do at an IT company is rocket science. Yes, it might be hard, it might be intimidating to learn about, you know, Hadoop or Hive or, you know, Cassandra or whatever the tools are that you're using, but none of this is rocket science. And you are in the luckiest place in time right now because you can Google anything and figure out anything. You could be like, I have an error code 6542 about memory exception and I'm wearing a red shirt and I'm in Bangalore. And somebody will be like, I have the same thing and the same red shirt and I'm in Bangalore, you know, let's go meet. You might think that you're unhappy now, but remember when you were in college 
or trying to get into college and you thought if I just get into college I'll be so happy or if I just get into Infosys or Microsoft I'll be so happy and now you're in those places and you're just thinking oh if I just get the master's degree or the MBA from UCLA or Harvard or whatever I'll be happy the cycle just keeps going bro it just keeps going and going and going okay at 15 all I wanted to do was play video games and watch TV all right at 21 I just wanted the like the hotel rooms and the fancy job and the MBA and the airplanes and the hotel points and all that stuff right at 25 and I'm sorry to tell you guys and girls at 25 you're just thinking oh I want to hook up and meet people and all that stuff and even that after a while gets old Nobody prepares you for these things because we're all caught up in the race that we take a we don't take a step back People think I want to quit engineering or engineering sucks or I don't know what I want to do with my life or whatever But we live in a world that is basically moving to engineering and it's not about learning engineering It's about learning the ABC's of technology so you can speak the language and do other things Eventually all that boring stuff about big data or whatever you learned is gonna be there for the next big mobile app Instagram uses freaking uh, uh, big data the last I checked and they do some stuff with Python and stuff like and you think they're sitting there with all those like hot chicks and supermodels like oh we had to learn big data this sucks nah they're they're ruling the world uh, you know and we're wasting time stalking everybody using big data as we speak <sighs> look take this time right now you're so young I know you don't know the big picture but I know the big picture and I'm still learning the bigger picture but the more you learn the easier you learn Okay, and the problem with that life is that materially it gets easier, but mentally it gets a lot harder, all right? Once the job, the girlfriend, the apartment is all settled, you still have a lot of time left to live. Don't give up on these things right now. Um, I appreciate the email for anybody else who feels the same way. All of this is gonna come back, all right, to do a lot of good things for you in the future. So take care, thank you. Any other questions, let me know.